for those of you out there in the HVAC community and on YouTube in general, I don't know how afraid you guys are of spiders, but I am absolutely terrified of them. They're like one of my worst fears. And here's why. We get a lot of these things out here in Arizona, and I know that house spiders and finding them around your garden and in your dumpsters and stuff is no big deal, but I don't know if you can see it down there. But there is a black widow down there in my air conditioner, and its web has filled the entire unit. In fact, if I bump the unit, you can probably see it move. Watch. If I blow into it, sometimes it'll crawl. You see that black spot moving on the camera there? That's a black widow. Those things are scary as shit. They're poisonous too. They'll any anywhere there's a spot that they can hide during the day and then come out at night, they'll build a web there. Including on these freaking dumpsters where they have an overhanging edge with lots of pockets inside of it. And the other night when I was taking my recycling out, I felt the web at the bottom of that little plastic shield there. And it was thick and sticky like a black widow web. But I looked inside there and only saw these little common house spiders, like that one there. But then I took a closer look tonight just to be sure, and I sprayed it. It fell out. It was up in here. But there is a really nasty... Oh, huge cricket. There's a really nasty female black widow. And those are the venomous ones. Oh, if it falls over on its back, you can see the mark. I sprayed it with some uh, some natural house plant cleaner that's meant to get rid of insects, and it's dying a really slow and painful death. I should have used carburetor cleaner or something like that. It's still got a web coming out of its ass, and I don't want to get caught on the thing and have the thing like crawl up under my arm. But look at that! What a horrible way to die! But still. I don't know if you can see the thing, but there's a red mark on its underbelly. Like a red hourglass kind of shape, a double diamond. I'm pretty sure it just died. Yeah, there's a red mark on it for sure. That's a black widow. We get them a lot in Arizona. It's just a safe haven for them for whatever reason. I guess the desert climate's right for them. Not too many storms to knock them down. Then, then again, their webs are pretty indestructible. Yeah. That's a black widow for you. And they're everywhere. Not only is there the one inside the air conditioner, which hid under the compressor, The crankcase heaters are probably still working on these things because they get instant hot when they turn on. And they cool great too. And spiders love warm places to hide at night because it's still kind of cool out at night. Yeah, there's a bunch of webs inside this unit too. It's hard to see on camera. In fact, it's not showing up. But the entire inside of the unit pretty much is just one big cluster web. And there's the one that comes out the back down there. I haven't seen that spider in a few days now, so it's probably just nesting inside the unit. And then we've got some baby black widows that are building some webs along here. I really wish that stuff would show up better on camera. There's some back there. Pretty freaky stuff. And there's that freaking one right here. 
That's not a black widow, though. That's a different spider. Yeah, she's giving me the chills talking about it. We used to get these a lot worse at my other house before I moved. But yeah, going into HVAC work, you got to be really careful because air conditioners have a lot of vents. Yep, that's another baby black widow. They don't become venomous until they're more mature. But that is freaky. And I sure hope that that thing didn't have eggs. Because if it had an egg sac, um, it's going to be back. But going into HVAC work, you've got to be really careful of that stuff. Because one minute you could be... Uh, you could be on top of the world. You found the problem. It was just low on Freon. You go to take the panel off and hook a line temperature probe up or something like that. Or go to look for other issues. And the next thing you know, bam, you get bit right in the hand and it swells up all purple. You've got to be very careful. And you also have to be careful of wasps. I opened up a... Uh, one of my units at my older house and uh, uh, my other house and uh, took the top off the unit. It was a different unit. It was an XL14i. This is an XE1000. These heat pumps are actually better than the XL14s. They don't break. But uh, popped the top off of it and there was a fresh wasp honeycomb in there right after I had taken it out a few days before. These things are everywhere. That little brown one there. Yeah, it's a baby black widow. They're just everywhere. And since the weather's warming up and it's been near record high temperatures in the 80s, that's usually when the babies start to hatch or when they start to lay eggs. Great. It was just playing dead. Man, those things are scary. They're really fun and interesting to watch, but they are scary at the same time. I just get an adrenaline rush from watching it. It's suffering a lot. I'm going to put it out of its misery. I'm scared to open up the recycling bin to take my trash out. I don't know if that's just a common house spider or if that's the male, because the males are brown and a lot smaller. And they're not poisonous either. I'm just going to... Okay, that got it. Seriously though, I cannot stand spiders, let alone black widows. And that thing right down there, at the bottom of the compressor, see where that bolt is at, right at the tip of my finger, and that, that dirt blot right off to the right of it? That little black spot you see close to the compressor on the top left corner of that dirt spot is the Black Widow. And if I blow on it, it will hide under the compressor where the crankcase heater's at. It's nice and warm down there for them. That thing's not going to be able to stand it under there much longer with how hot it's going to be getting. Seriously. I'm going to look in there real quick. I hope nothing jumps out on me. But I'm just going to get up there and look. That's what I put my hand in by accident. Hey, there's another one. Fuck. 